for the WKB approximation, uh, if we have a particle that we send through uh, from an open area, we have the potential of zero. When we have a potential that changes very slightly and slowly, we won't know exactly how much the potential is, so we won't know what the change will be, so what we have to do is approximate. And we do that by, well, if we send in a particle with momentum h bar k, so what we have to do is we express the eigenfunction for that free particle, which is here, e to the i k x. We substitute in p over h bar for the wave number k, and that momentum, we, def well, it is square root of two m e minus v, but we substitute all of that times x, uh, and we substitute s of x for that. So that's going to be the quantum action. But this also can be considered the momentum that is changing as the potential changes. So <clears throat> as it comes into this open area, it is incident on this changing potential. The momentum lowers down or it dampens, and as it keeps going into the area with increased momentum, uh, with increased potential, it decreases the momentum. And so the way we approximate that is just by plugging it into the Schrodinger equation. So we have Schrodinger equation here. Uh, we calc we act with this operator on psi of x and just write it out. We then come up with these uh, derivative and second derivative of psi. But for psi, we put in the substitution we made. So we'll, we'll do the first and second derivatives in terms of this, uh, or with respect to this function here, a function of x, and once you get these for this for the second derivative, plug it back into our Schrodinger equation, and just after making the substitution, we can make cancellations, and we come up with this version right here for the Schrodinger equation. This is for the quantum-sized uh, version of this approximation. But this is good because this corresponds with the classical version of everything. So once we take the limit as h bar goes to zero, h bar being what takes us to the quantum size, then h bar goes to zero, makes this term go away, gives us only this right here, which is exactly, well, looks almost exactly like the p squared over 2m, which is the Hamiltonian. So once we take the limit of h bar, uh, as h bar goes to zero, we bring we go back to the classical size. We're brought back to the classical version of this equation, and it corresponds perfectly. So we approximate for the Schrodinger equation by making this substitution for the moment, and we can then say the energy of that resultant particle is the function involving x squared over two m.